Welcome to the Computer Technology Channel, and this is Nikki Moons here. And I got my brand new computer, guys. I'm finally on Windows 11, guys. Windows 11. Finally, we're on Windows 11. You can see the new operating system. It's kind of limited. The stuff you can't do. So you can't like really right click the task bar like you used to in Windows 10. It gives you option just task bar. You get taskbar settings or task manager, but can you pin stuff? Uh, you probably can. It just, it's just limited. I'll show you for example. Let's see if it will actually pin it. Yeah, you can. You can. You can wink it, but you can't pin it. I mean, in order to pin stuff, then you have to go like here. No, you can't pin stuff. You have to right click and pin it to the taskbar. You can't like pin stuff if you wanted to do them basically it doesn't let you do that <laughs> there's this, I still have this still so yeah if you, look, if you right click you notice it's hiding your third party stuff so you click there, and it gives you the normal right click menu, so you just right click, and then go here, see, a little bit, and now if we go to the settings, they change the settings quite a bit too, if you go to settings, you can see, there's a lot more stuff here, you can see, see, there's a lot more stuff you can, so settings are a little bit different, unlike Windows 10, so, different than Windows 10, and I'm recording in 60 FPS, I have a very good computer to run it now, so yeah, I have a very good PC to do that now. To run 60 FPS, a lot of good settings I could probably turn on. There's game in here, so you can see. I could run pretty much everything on this thing. If you right click, kind of, if you right click, you click timer, so you can get, get the clock still and stuff. You get a notification bar up there, too. You click sounds, you can see, see. Take it to the blue, I have Bluetooth on here, Wi-Fi and stuff. Here's sound. That's the new sounds you can see. If you want, and, they, and I could probably just right click. And here's the search bar. It's still like Windows 10, kind of. It still has that little thing there. There's some widgets here. If you click this, it gives you a panel of widgets. So you could so it's kind of really cool. You get the weather, you get almost your pitch, you get your pictures. Pretty, and you can even add more if you wanted to add like more stuff. You can add multiple stuff at a time, which is pretty. So you can even add these stuff. So you get traffic. You can add. So if I just click add, add all this stuff. Pretty much any anyway, gaming it comes with gaming. I love it, and it and it's probably gonna give you more stuff, mate. Cool widgets you could play around. That's the same. You get yeah, it gives you the traffic. It gives you it gives you more control than anything else. Keep animals, wild animals. You can find new stuff. It's it's pretty cool. I like it in my opinion. And this this button yeah, you can you can open another desktop window. So it's the same thing. Like if you open file sports you know you can open a new tab now, which is which is cool. I never done it, so I, I like the animation style. The animation makes this pretty cool. Well, with Discord, it's the same thing. You can see. I like it in my opinion. Here's Windows Windows Defender. It looks still the same. See, it's right there. You can see it's yellow because it needs me to it needs me to go to go to settings and do something here. I don't recommend turning this on. I don't trust it because. I remember how I did that last time. It screwed my system up, which I'm not doing that again and screwing something up. I don't trust it. That's what I don't trust because I w I I only ask people for it before yeah. they turn the stuff mess with the stuff. That way, they understand. I ask people first before I even touch it. Don't want to mess with stuff I don't know where it is. If I don't know where it is, I don't touch it because. Don't know know what it is. It could it could screw up your system, or it could even worse than 
and you have to reinstall your whole operating system again if that happens. And make sure you always back up your data on a regular basis because you never know what could happen if you don't if you don't do something the right way. If you screw the system, system up, it's not a fun thing. Make sure you back up your system regularly if something happens. So yeah, it's best you do that. Even if you're on Windows 11 or 10, that's what I mean. It's pretty cool on Windows 11. Start button is pretty cool. It's yeah, see, you scroll from the apps. I mean, I don't use this stuff. I don't play Xbox. I am. Oh yeah, see this. You can see you. Yeah, you get a little thing right there. You can even you can drag stuff in. Look at that. You can drag stuff in. Stuff you like. Photos. You open. Oh, there's two photos. So you get this one. You get the other one. I'll show you. So one right here. We install it. Pretty cool in my opinion. I love Windows 11. It's one of my best options to suffice. I kind of my first time being on Windows 11. So yeah, I want to make this video kind of short. I'll see you in my next video when I do it, alright? This was just a short video of Windows 11. Just to show you what it kind of looks like for my first time using it. I, mean, I might get used to it, but not really used to Windows 11, but it's my first time on it. So I'm not usually used to everything on it. So. I'll see you in my next one when I do it. Peace out. Bye. Thanks for watching.